So over the past few months, I've been playing around with TikTok ads because, uh, you know, a couple months back, they were running Facebook campaigns trying to promote the fact that you could now join the ads platform. And there were some requirements back then. You had to be spending X amount of money per month in ads. And, and even now, there's still some limitations. You might not be able to sign up right now, but I think they've opened it a bit. So um, we'll go through it. So in this video, I just want to kind of introduce you to TikTok ads. Short story, it's not like a, it's not doing better than Facebook and Instagram ads. I haven't gotten anywhere near the results I've gotten in Facebook and Instagram ads. Um, I'm not going to go through all my failures in this video. I might go through some. Um, so let me know if you want to see the video and everything I've done that's failed. <laughs> um, in this video, I just kind of want to introduce you to the platform because I think it's going to get better over time. It's pretty new. So let's just do it. This is TikTok ads. Um, and you'll notice that if you're familiar with Facebook ads, it's essentially the same kind of deal. You have campaigns, you have ad groups, which are just like Facebook's ad sets, and you have ads. You can have multiple ad groups in a campaign and multiple ads in an ad group and create this big structure of stuff that, that works. Um, now, I don't know if they're still doing it now, but last year they gave me like $500 in free advertising money. It was $300 ad credit just for signing up, and they were going to match one-to-one -one whatever you did. So I think I, I think I did like 200 bucks, so they gave me 200 bucks for free. So they gave me like 500 bucks in free ad spend which is pretty cool, right? I mean, just to sign up and use it, um, you know, that that alone made it worth it. And it was good I got that because I probably had about $500 worth of <laughs> worth of uh, failures and, and wasted money just testing it out. So I, I guess it made sense why they did that. Um, we're just going to make a campaign. And I'm going to show you how this stuff works. So you get a reach campaign, traffic campaign, which is kind of like Facebook's link click campaign, app installs, video views, and conversions. So... Let's just go with traffic. Um, spoiler alert, I've never had anything good with traffic, kind of. I, I did manage to get something working with deep links, um, but it was very hairy. So I'm just gonna call this, uh, we'll just start over, test YouTube. Um, you can define your budget at the campaign level. You actually define it at the ad set level, but you can kind of cap things here. So I'll just leave that at, at there for now. I'm gonna click continue, and this is gonna bring us into the ad groups. Now my window's a little small, so that's why this thing is over here. But um, you can see the structure, just like Facebook. And over here, we can see the audience size. So I'm gonna stick here. Now, we're gonna be sending people to a website. And you can run on automatic placements. You, if you click select placements, you can see you can run on TikTok, Newsfeed, App Series, <laughs> Hilo, and Pangle. These are just other um, apps that this company owns. I've been doing just TikTok. I think I might've tried this for other ones, for one campaign, but... I feel like TikTok is the one that most of us care about. Um, user, you can let people download or you know comment on your videos if you want. You can do automatic creative optimization, like testing out different combinations of videos and headlines and stuff like that. Um, and now we get into targeting. So this stuff is like retargeting and custom audience and lookalike audiences because that stuff's all here. You can do custom audience retargeting and do lookalike audience just like you can on Facebook. So that is cool. Locations are a little bit limited. Um, they do have a few, so like I've been doing the US and now Canada, I believe, so some countries, if you select them, you can't run in a language. So I think Japan has English, but like, I think if I select like Saudi Arabia, um, I think I have to have a version of my ad that's in their language and not every country is the same. And they might've changed this since then, but, um, you can't run to just any country you want. So I've just been doing Canada and the US. You can choose by gender, you can choose by age ranges, and then you can go to interest. Now, this is one of the biggest downsides of TikTok ads, in my opinion. Um, another one will come up, don't worry. <laughs> but this is one of the, the big ones that is a disappointment. The interests are very limited. So if you just type in like music, um, you get music games, culture and art, music, music and instruments, musicals, and singing and music competitions. So um, that's it. And... <laughs> If you type in pop or something, or like rap, photography, or hip, there's nothing hip hop. And so essentially what you end up doing when you're running ads for music is you just scroll down to culture and art and you do music. Can't pick genre and you can't pick um, <laughs> if they have Spotify. So so that's kind of a that's kind of a limit, right? You can click behavior. This is like if it's gonna optimize for people who, what they do is they look at users who are interested in this stuff. So people who are like interested in commenting and shared 
and then in this category that you choose, so I can do, um, i trying to remember what I do. There's a thing that's like talent. And I'll just search for it actually, music, talent music. So people who watch music talent videos in the past seven days who have commented or shared on them. So, you know, that's kind of how you can filter out. You're targeting for this interest, but you're also targeting people who have watched this category video and performed these actions. So it's a, a, a little bit of unique spin on the thing, but um, you can try to target people who like, maybe they share more often because not everyone shares videos. So that's kind of a unique perspective. You can customize your devices, your cell phone carrier, <laughs> um, what kind of service they're on. This makes a lot of people have had great results um, selling apps on TikTok. Um, that seems to be the hot topic right now. If you're selling apps, it's like TikTok is the place to be. For music, um, meh, <laughs> honestly, so far. Um, but some people have a good result. So this is where you pick our daily budget. Minimum, you have to do 20 bucks a day. If you do a lifetime budget, um, can you, can you do 40? No, at least $620. Um, I think, so I've been doing daily 20. <clears throat> you can do a lifetime budget that's big and you don't have to run it for the whole duration. So you could do a smaller per day budget if you did like a lifetime and then um, just like turned it off before it, it spent the amount of money. But I think, you know, $20 a day, no matter what I slice is what you have to have to spend. Um, yeah, you can schedule stuff. And you can do a bid cap or do lowest cost. Lowest cost is typically what you do on something like Facebook. Bid cap would be kind of what you do on like Google or YouTube ads if you if you see my other videos on that. So on the upper right, we can see we got 32, 34 million to 42 million. Uh, and then we got a little description or summary of all that. And now we click next. So this will take us into the ad portion. This is my next biggest gripe with TikTok ads. So you can upload a video or choose from library. I'll just pick this video I used in my last one. Um, notice here, display name, Andrew Southworth, and then upload profile image and put, you know, text. So you can't link your TikTok account to your TikTok ads. You have to make this like fake account, meaning that you can't just like promote your TikTok profile. You can't like boost a video that you already have on TikTok to get more views on or get more followers. And there's no way to like, you know, on, on Facebook, you could run some ads and just gain some social media following on the site. And if people wanted to learn more about you, they could go there. They might follow you and not take the conversion, but they might come back later. You don't get that here. You, That's all lost. So, um, and it seems to be like music video clips just don't really work very well. You know, do if you're trying this, do better than I do and try to match the content of TikTok. It's not really my jam. Um, and, you know... <laughs> I'm still trying to figure it out, and I I'm probably will have to try something more creative at some point, but I'm just trying to see if I can get any results with the way I've been doing things, because I do believe that I should be able to get something with that. But you can see the problem here. You can't link your profile, so there's no, you know, it's it's a disadvantage. <laughs> um, yeah, so then you just throw your link here. One thing I've noticed, like, you can't just put a Spotify link here or a direct link. If you put a link there just to Spotify, it'll open up in that stupid TikTok browser. It will not open the Spotify app. So never do that. You have to, if you put in the landing page too, even if they click Spotify in the landing page, it won't go to Spotify. It'll open up in the TikTok browser, which means they won't be logged in and they can't listen to Spotify. You really have to use something like URL Genius, which is a deep link service. Um, and this will essentially automatically route people based on their device to certain applications on their phone. <laughs> so it's very cheap. I, I pay half a penny per click. So it's um, it's cheap, you know, and you get cool things like a QR code if you wanted to use that somewhere. You can put a Facebook pixel on there um, and a Google Analytics thing if you want to retarget people later. And you can also go to the performance and you can see this is actually one I've been using. Out of 171 clicks, only 19 app opens happened, which makes me very questionable. <laughs> Um, makes me very uh, suspicious of the people that are clicking on these ads. Um, that just doesn't seem natural to me. And then you can also see it spliced by device. And this also led me to an interesting conclusion is that for Apple, the app opens were so low and the, the Android ones, they were significantly higher, but still um, not too hot. So I think this partially might be the way Apple does it. If you do a deep look on Apple, it'll usually give you a warning message like, hey, do you want to leave this app and go to, to whatever? Um, and so that might be why this is so incredibly low. And then if it didn't open up in the app, 
people are going to be in that stupid internal TikTok browser and they're not going to stream. So I think that might be a big thing to take away from this. Um, and I did have some results. Like I did notice an increase in the followers in this playlist, which is where I was sending people. Um, and I have been getting a lot of streams in this playlist. So I do think I have found something that works, but it doesn't seem to be as effective as TikTok is making it seem. You know, I, this, this, the campaign I ran with all this setup stuff using the deep link and a link click campaign, um, it essentially only got like 19 people's worth of extra followers. It, it did not get the, the 200 something that TikTok told me I got for link clicks and extra followers. Now from this point, you just click submit and publish, but the rejection rate on TikTok ads is kind of insane. Um, I, I don't think I can show it to you because I fixed the campaigns I had, but um, most, I think I have about a 50% rejection rate on the ads and parts of it's the link. They continually rejected a lot of my deep links saying, hey, this doesn't match the URL you're telling us to go to. And I'm like, that's kind of the point, it's a deep link. And it seems to be getting deep links approved in TikTok is kind of hit or miss. And deep links are the only thing I've gotten to work. So um, like I think I've published six ads with deep links and gotten two approved. Um, so yeah, now I can go through a whole bunch of failures in the journey of this um, in another video if you want, so let me know below. But that's kind of the, the, the down low with TikTok ads. I recommend getting getting set up and trying if they're still giving away free money, take advantage of it. But um, yeah, if you know a way that I could improve this, please let me know. If you have experience, I, I'd, I'd love to know because I, I want to get this to work so that I can share it and we can get everyone to have another <laughs> another means to promote the music. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. If you want to learn more about Facebook ads, you can check out this playlist right here and I'll see you next video. Bye.